everyone, it's Leela with Miss Kiss Creations. Welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how I created this beautiful glittered rustic tumbler. Like always, all of my materials will be included in my description below, including some direct links and coupon codes for y'all to use. And with all that being said, let's go ahead and get started. I'm starting with this 16 ounce stainless steel tumbler. I started out with sanding the tumbler with my 120 grit sanding block, sand, sand, sand. Once I was finished sanding this tumbler, I then wiped it down with 91% alcohol. Make sure your alcohol is at least 91% to remove any of the excess oils or any of that excess sanding dust that may have added on to your tumbler. Wipe, wipe, wipe. And just to warn y'all, I had my double dose of coffee this morning, so this voiceover is going to be great. And let's show off these sparkly glitters from Glitter Heart Co. I'm using West Coast and Caribbean Coast. Beautiful glitters. I want to add both of them together, so I added a lot of the Caribbean Coast, and then I tried to add a little bit of the West Coast, but I forgot I haven't opened this bottle yet. So then I added a little bit on the Caribbean Coast, and then I stirred both together because I'm going to apply all of this to the tumbler. Stir, stir, stir. My glitter adhesive is going to be Ocean Deep from Pop of Color Paint. And I've learned from applying this pop of color paint that it's a lot easier to apply the paint with a moistened tip. Uh, so what I did was I put my paintbrush inside of water, just room temp water, and then I wiped it down, and then I'm going to apply the paint with the moistened tip. So then I apply the paint all around the tumbler, and if you would like to do the bottom, go ahead and do the bottom, but I forgot because I was probably singing along to other tunes. And just make sure that you have a even coat of the paint, 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 paint. That pop of color paint is so thin, especially whenever you apply it with that moistened tip. It plies on your tumbler like butter. And once your paint is all over your tumbler, go in with that glitter. Make sure that your paint is still wet whenever you're applying that glitter to your tumbler. And you'll see I only mixed a little bit of that glitter together, so I just, went back and forth, back and forth, like a thousand trillion times until my glitter was applied to my tumbler. And I did not apply my glitter all the way down to the bottom, only because I am going to apply paint at the bottom. So there's no point in covering the bottom with glitter if you're just gonna cover it with paint at the end, right? Tap, tap, tap. And here's that beautiful sparkly glitter all over the top of my tumbler. Once I applied that, I let that paint dry and then I went in with my Krylon Crystal Clear Acrylic Coating. I love this stuff. This is to help keep that glitter in place whenever you go to epoxy your tumbler. Make sure you spray about one or two coats of this on your tumbler and then we're going to go in with our epoxy. The total amount of epoxy I use for this 16 ounce tumbler is 20 milliliters of epoxy. That's 10 milliliters part A and 10 milliliters part B. I did epoxy the entire tumbler, including that bare bottom. So make sure you're getting a nice coat. I wanna make sure that I'm covering this glitter, make sure that it's nice and snug and enough epoxy over the glitter that whenever it cures, it is a nice smooth tumbler. I am using my fast set epoxy for this step because I drink a lot of coffee, so I need to do everything super fast. So this took about two hours to completely cure, and then we can move on to that next step. Ooh, sparkly. And once my tumbler was completely cured, I took it off the cup turner, showed it off to y'all with that bare bottom, and then I went in with a 220 grit sanding block and I sanded all around the tumbler. I did not only focus on the glitter part, but I also focused on that bare part. So just make sure your tumbler is completely sanded. You want a very smooth finish. I took my time with this. You can see I'm feeling with my finger and then I am sanding away. Once I finished sanding, I took my 91% alcohol again, and I wiped down the entire tumbler, removing any of those excess oils or the sanding powder that I may have placed on the tumbler. Wipe, wipe, wipe. 
Once that alcohol was completely dried, I went in with white with pop of color, again, moistening my tip of my paintbrush, and then applying that white paint all over the bottom of my tumbler. Disclaimer, you do not have to use pop of color. You can use any acrylic paint that you have on hand. And whenever I'm applying my paint, I'm only applying my paint towards the bottom and then going up towards the top, if that makes sense. So I'm only applying it to that bare area and then I'm overlapping that glitter just some. I will be removing some of this paint at the end. So if you do go too far up on your tumbler, it's okay. You can remove some of that paint whenever we go to make that distressed look. So I am applying that paint all over the bottom. It does not have to be perfect. This is the first out of three coats of paint. So I just wanna make sure that the bottom is covered with the paint and it does not have to be perfect. This is the paint while it's wet. I actually grabbed the tumbler like a dummy with my hand and I smeared some of the paint off. <laughs> so I'm going in with my heat gun and applying low heat, making sure that I move that heat gun really, 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 really quickly around the tumbler, drying that paint because I am extra impatient with this tumbler. And this is a rustic tumbler. So if it does crack or if it does uh, get kind of quote unquote ugly, it's going to look beautiful at the end. And then whenever that white paint was dried, I went in with my Arteza Gold with mica powder inside of it. It's beautiful, it's shimmery, it's gorgeous. I went in and I applied that gold paint all over that white paint. Disclaimer, you can use any brand gold paint you have on hand. I actually let this paint air dry. I did not go in with my heat gun because this paint is a lot thicker and I didn't want it to crack or bubble. This is very, I guess, sensitive paint to heat, but I just uh, let it air dry. It took about 20 to 25 minutes to completely dry. And once that gold paint was completely dry on the tumbler, it's finished. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I took one of those Dollar Tree bristle messed up brushes and some acrylic paint and I am now applying my last coat of paint to my tumbler. The reason why I chose acrylic paint and not pop of color paint because acrylic paint is a lot thicker than pop of color paint and I want it to look rustic or worn out. I didn't want to have a smooth finish on my tumbler. So I applied a little bit of the paint to the tip of the paintbrush and all I did was stroke that paint on top of that gold uh, paint. So I stroke, 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 she stroke, stroke, stroke. And do keep in mind with this cheap paintbrush, some of the bristles do come off. So just pick them off like you see me doing there. And then I filled in some of those places around that gold area until my little heart was satisfied. And don't forget the bottom. Stroke, 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 she stroke, stroke, stroke. And then once again, taking my heat gun on low and applying that heat all over the tumbler where I have the paint placed, making sure that I'm moving that heat gun so fast. Look how fast I'm moving that heat gun. You do not wanna apply that heat in the same area because if you do have a lot of heat on your paint, then it's gonna cause that paint to bubble and then you're gonna to have to reapply the paint and then redry the paint. So keep doing that until the paint is completely dried. And once the paint is dried, now for the fun part. I'm going in with my 91% alcohol and I cut little squares of my paper towels. And then I am removing some of that excess paint that I applied to the tumbler. I first cleaned up the top because there was a lot of fogginess from that paint on the tumbler. And then I went in and did some detailed work. I say it's detailed, but it's really just rubbing on the tumbler until some of the paint is removed. Do not overthink this part because it is a distressed or worn out tumbler. So this is going to look uneven. It's not going to look perfect. And that's all part of the look. If you want to remove more of that paint and let that paint come up the tumbler only halfway, go ahead and make your tumbler however you want to make your tumbler. I'm sure it's going to look beautiful. I wanted most of my tumbler to be painted about three quarters of the way with only about a fourth of that glitter peeking through, just enough to add my decal. And once I was finished with the distressed look, I went in with my final paper towel with my 91% alcohol and I removed any of that excess paint that I may have added to that glitter area. 
I then created a decal on Cricut Design Space using the offset mode or style, whatever you want to call it. And then I applied that to my Tumblr. If you do want to know how to do offsets, I'll link a video in my description below. I use a nice copper and then I use a white for my offset and I place that around the area of the distressed look area, glitter part. Then I squeegeed it down, removed that backing, and look how beautiful this tumbler is pre-epoxy. Gorgeous! And to make sure my decal does not lift when I epoxy, I'm using my Quick Coat from CC DIY. This is just a sealer to make sure that decal's nice and snug to that tumbler. I applied that with a gloved hand, and then I allowed that to dry for about 10 to 15 minutes before moving on to epoxy. And my camera for some reason was being more stubborn than I am and it didn't record my epoxy in. So all I did was I epoxied my tumbler using 20 millers of epoxy. I then sanded that uh, tumbler and then I went in with another 10 millers of epoxy. I let that cure and then I'm going in with my X-Acto knife and I'm cleaning up the rim, removing any of that excess epoxy from the tumbler. And once I was finished with that, I clean up the inside and my tumbler is ready to go. Guys, this tumbler is gorgeous. Look at that sparkle. I enjoyed every minute of this and I cannot wait to see what you guys come up with. Thanks so much for watching this crazy fun video. If you guys did enjoy it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tumbler and craft videos. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see y'all next time.